Hello everyone and welcome to Trading Card Nation. I'm Paul and today we're going to kind of get away from the norm and not rip open any new blaster boxes or uh, value packs or mega boxes. But today is going to be a mail day. And unfortunately this is going to be a large mail day. So I may have to put this in two videos. Uh, this month, uh, the end of uh, October to uh, present which is this is on close to the end of November not quite Thanksgiving but getting close uh, I purchased about 209 210 cards uh, some of them are to upgrade uh, sets that I have that I've collected over the years and some are to uh, flip after I get them graded uh, all these cards have been pre-graded so we uh, know about what the values are of them, and again, a lot of them won't be won't be graded. Uh, they're just going to get on, go into uh, my PC as upgrades to sets that I've, like I said, uh, collected over the years. So we uh, give you a little background since uh, I have a lot more new subscribers. Uh, haven't really. Uh, gave background on what I've done, <clears throat> excuse me, but kind of date myself, I uh, started collecting in 1967 at the age of about seven years old and started out, uh, I'm from the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex area here in Texas, so of course uh, my team back then, uh, the only team that was in this area was uh, the Dallas Cowboys, so of course that's one of my teams, but I'm more of a sports fan than just a, a football, baseball, basketball, you know, I, I love all sports, so I collect, you know, all three, and a little bit into, uh, into hockey, uh, and then actually I'm even starting to get a little bit into, into soccer, so I'm expanding a little bit. Uh, I was going through a lot of my uh, a lot of my team sets, which uh, I have from the start of the teams here in Dallas, uh, the Cowboys from '60 to present day, uh, complete team sets of all the years. Same with the uh, Rangers from '72 to present, and Mavericks '80 to present. Not so much uh, with the Dallas Stars. Uh, they started in 96, I believe, and I've started on them, but ain't quite got uh, a complete uh, year set for them, but I'm working on it. But anyways, we, uh, you know, I've, back in the 60s when I started uh, collecting, getting interested in it, I've always been, you know, a basketball fan, baseball fan. But unfortunately, we didn't really have them here in the Metroplex uh, back then. So I was more of a, a players fan, uh, such as uh, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, uh, moved into uh, Michael Jordan. And then as far as baseball, you know, a big uh, Pete Rose fan. Always have been, always will be. Nolan Ryan fan when he played for the... You know, for the Angels, the Mets, um, even in a Houston. Uh, always love, and most of, and a lot of these cards are of Nolan Ryan. So, there's quite a few Nolan Ryans. And then, you know, other ones I've watched. Uh, I try to keep up with a lot of the auctions, uh, what cards are going for. And I try to pick some of those up uh, raw. Uh, hopefully, I can get them in... You know, extreme condition, you know, good condition, mint, and go ahead and get those graded and, and go ahead and flip them. Uh, just uh, something that makes it fun. It's a little hard to do it, uh, buying and selling on eBay. As I was going through a lot of this, uh, I was noticing uh, a lot of new sellers, the uh, way they do things kind of give you a, a little insight on some of the uh, things to watch out for makes a makes a lot better uh, 
experience, buying experience on eBay. Uh, give you a little uh, insights. You know, this is mainly just for the newer uh, collectors out there. Uh, some of y'all old dogs, as myself, uh, y'all been around the corners, been around the block quite a few times, so I imagine uh, there's a lot of things that uh, you know about on eBay, but they might be some new things that I ran across. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I hope you enjoy it. We'll go through them as fast as we can. Like I said, there's over 200 of them. I won't bore you, uh, bore you with... Uh, some of the other cars that uh, that I have picked up, uh, just mainly try to hit the highlights uh, uh, as far as the cars that, again, there's 209 uh, cars that I purchased this month, <clears throat> and I believe only about 96 of them are uh, grade worthy, which is 10s uh, or 9s or 10s, PSA 9, PSA 10s, anything less than that will either go to my PC or I'll resell. Again, it's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's an art buying off of eBay, trying to get, get something that's uh, good enough to grade. Uh, the cards, you know, some uh, sellers don't, don't have the, uh, quite enough good enough camera, so some of them are blurry. Uh, they're, you know, they, ain't, they don't pinpoint the corners, the edges. So it's a little hard to, uh, to pick them up uh, and mint grade, uh, but you can do it. And, quite easily do it uh, pick them up for a couple of bucks and turn around and get them graded and you know sell them for you know 50 60 100 hell even some of them a thousand over a thousand so so i hope you enjoy this uh, like i said i'll try to run through it pretty quick um uh, and again if it starts getting too long i will break this up into two videos so we uh so <laughs> you're not uh trying to Fast forward through a lot of it, and then miss some of the cards that you might want to want to see. So, so let's go ahead and uh, get started, and let's uh, see what I picked up. And um, I'm actually kind of uh, uh, proud on, of a lot of these cards and everything that I got them as, uh, for as cheap as price that I got them for, and as good as they are. Uh, Victor uh, Wimbenyama uh, picked up a few of his cards uh, off of eBay. They uh, they were in good shape. They, this uh, I believe will grade a ten. Uh, again, uh, it's hard to, to get a comp on it because uh, there's such a new cards. Uh, but something similar. This goes for about nineteen bucks. I picked it up for uh, I believe a little under two dollars. Uh, next one be uh, another Victor. Oh no, yeah, it's Victor in a. Uh, in a Luca card, and if you notice, uh, one of the things that I run into a lot, they put them in these card savers and they tape them. And fortunately, this individual actually put a flag on it, so it makes it a lot easier to take that off and pull the card out. Some of them put uh, masking, well, they'll put some masking tape on it, which makes it extremely hard to uh, to pull those off. And again, this one uh, nicely centered. Uh, you know, the back's just a uh, plain Jane for an autograph. But nicely centered, nice card. You know, I'm a big Luca fan. And uh, a Victor, even being a spur, I definitely uh, like, I've watched him play, and it's uh, he's going to be something special. So, pick that up. Cost me uh, right at a, a couple of bucks. Uh, this will grade if it grades ten. Uh, it's about a twenty-five dollar card, so that's a very nice card. Uh, and got a SP Victor. Pick that up uh, for about three bucks on eBay. Nicely centered, edges are good, corners are perfect. Uh, that should grade a ten, also. Uh, grading 10 is going to be about a $45 card and again you know grading is an art it's not a science so there's a lot of factors on how a card will come so that you get a card back for you know grading a 10 uh, you know you got the uh, 
you know, your major, your uh, the corners, the edges, uh, the front, the back, the uh, centering. Uh, basically, it's those are uh, pretty much set. You know, they're pretty easy to determine those. The, about the biggest thing is the eye appeal. You know, that's in the, uh, you know, it says be using the eye of the beholder, so they, uh, that's uh, one thing that can get you pretty good, pretty quick. And the other, uh, you know, as far as the uh, corners, edges, uh, surface, and everything, you can generally get those, uh, especially if you get a good picture. I uh, also picked up uh, Derek Jeter, another one of, uh, one of my favorite players. Uh, this would be... Pick this up for about four bucks, and it, if it grades out of ten, it'd be uh, eighty-seven, I believe, what the comps are going for. And then again, you know, it all depends on how fast I get these graded and back. Ninety-six of them, that's uh, run them through PSA. That's about eighteen hundred dollars, which I'm probably just take my the top uh, cards that I picked up and. Start with those first and then kind of move down the line. Let me see if I can get a little bit better lighting on this. So, but anyways, that's uh, definitely another nice card. Uh, did pick up, uh, like I said, there is a lot of Nolans. And again, uh, this seller here put it in a top loader, a penny sleeve, and he actually flagged it. Made it a lot easier to get out. This card uh, should grade probably about a, I would say, a, roughly about an eight. So this probably will just go to my PC. But it's a little off center to left to right, uh, up and down. It's a little cocked a little bit to one side. Uh, the backs, the corners are nice, edges are nice. Uh, eye peel is real good. So again, that's a, another good card. And I love how some, some people, they'll wrap this up. And the biggest thing is taping the card in the envelope. That's uh, not the best thing to do. Uh, and I'll show you on some envelopes what uh, the post office will run them through. Again, another Nolan. This is uh, this, uh, 88 Fleer. Excuse me, 84 Fleer. Picked it up. It'll grade a nine, I believe, uh, about $36. Picked it up for a couple of bucks. I I think the most I've paid for any of these cards is about five bucks. But then again, if it doesn't, if I do send it off to be graded and it doesn't grade out the way I think it should, it just, it'll just go on my PC. So no worse for wear. Again, another Maverick, uh, Josh Green, rookie card. It's a Prism. Which is a uh, 2023, 22. So 2020, I'm sorry. Uh, rookie picked it up for a couple of bucks. It'll grade a nine. And unfortunately, the comps are uh, with this being a new card. The comps are a few far and in between. So roughly, it'll go for about twenty three dollars if it grades a nine. Uh, barely enough to cover the. Uh, the grading cost, so that probably just going to my PC. So uh, another Dallas Mavericks, uh, nineteen, uh, let's see, nineteen eighty. Uh, Huston in the center, Dallas Maverick. Yeah, this is uh, definitely will go into my. Uh, PC on my team team set so not a lot of value to it so and then again the Mincher for the Rangers 1972 tops a very nice card a little off center on the back better on the front again we'll go into the, the PC on the 72 team card to help uh, upgrade that. Once I get them high enough, I will 
possibly send uh, send the, the set in to have graded. See if I can get most of them the same grade. And most of the uh, sellers they like adding, I guess, some of their common cards into it, which uh, not desirable because I have enough commons. I don't need <laughs> someone to send me theirs, but. That's one thing to watch out for. Uh, you can actually contact the uh, the seller. Then again, uh, Larry Bird put this in my collection. This uh this is definitely a uh, a nice card. This will grade, I believe, a ten if I'm not mistaken. Hoops. Uh, picked it up for about three dollars. It'll grade a. I say it grades about a nine. Again, about twenty-two dollars as a nine, so that will uh, probably just go into the PC. And again, like I said, there is tons of Nolan Ryan's. Uh, this one here uh, would definitely uh, grade a nine ten. Uh, as you see, the back of it, uh, the price was five bucks, but I believe I picked this one up, uh, I believe for a dollar, about two dollars off eBay. And it will grade, uh, let's see, this will grade a nine at thirty dollars. So that, that'll definitely go into, uh, going to be graded. And again, uh, saying this how some people, they'll tape the, uh, the card into an envelope which uh, kind of stabilizes the card and if you ever noticed an envelope come from, come from the post office they'll have a nice little nick right there in the bottom you can see that I believe pick that up and once that card now being in a uh, in a top loader it gives a little bit more protection from the uh, conveyor system, but it will nick that. And if you have it in a top loader, I mean, uh, in a uh, card saver, it'll eat right through that card saver. And if the card is pushed over that way, it will nick that card. So if you ever sh start selling e on eBay or you start selling anywhere, you start shipping cards out, it's not wise to uh, to uh, tape that in place because the uh, card won't allow the car to move but that conveyor actually hits it it will knock it you know lift it up at in the package away from the uh, conveyor and won't damage it at any but the secret uh <clears throat> this go to the rangers uh even though this is not a ranger it wasn't on the rangers at the time i'll still put this on on, on a team card probably team set this secret or maybe just going to a pc so that uh, that will definitely uh, be added to the PC. So try to keep an eye on. <clears throat> Might have to put the three again. Another Dallas seventy-two Dallas Mavericks. Clemens, Jim Clemens, uh, definitely nice card. One thing you do need to watch out for buying off eBay is the shipping. Uh, I've seen some of them that uh, kind of get a little bit ridiculous on the shipping on this. Uh, nice uh, Jason Terry, the Jet. This will grade a 10, numbered out of uh, $34.99. Comes back a 10. I believe this is uh, as a value. About seventy nine dollars, if I'm not mistaken. So that is very nice. Uh, definitely like that card. Another Nolan Ryan, uh, nicely centered, a little bit off, but it's still within a sixty forty from uh, left to right. Uh, fifty fifty at top, so it should grade a ten. In, in as far as the centering, the corners were very nice. And there's one thing about eBay, the corners may look nice on the pictures, even when you blow them up. But once you get them in hand and you put a loom on it, 
uh, you can tell there's a lot of be a lot of chipping on the corners and I will get that uh, on several cards and show that to you but again another Nolan Ryan that graded out nice it should grade a 10 I believe that Nolan let's see that's uh North. yeah that Nolan graded it cost me uh dollar 53 on that one it'll, it'll grade That one only grade an eight. I'm sorry. Even though it looks nice, but there is chipping. Yeah, the uh, the corners are chipped. Uh, I do not believe that it would uh, grade even a nine. I think an eight. So that would just go into my PC. Another Nolan. This will grade out a nine. About a thirty-eight dollar card uh, at a nine. So again, there's several of them the same. Some will go, uh, whichever grades out the best, will uh, will probably go on eBay to sell as a PSA eight or nine. And then the other ones will go on my PC to upgrade. Upgrade those. And again, another Dallas Maverick. And it's nice that uh, they put them in these these uh, team bags, but makes it look a lot difficult to whitehead uh, Maverick. Uh, a little off centered, but again, it's just going for a team a team bag, a team card, team set. Jeff Bagwell. Nice Fleer card. This uh, this will grade out. Jeff Bagwell. This will grade out a ten. Purchased, uh, picked up for uh, three dollars. This well, just under four dollars, three eighty nine. And if it does grade a ten, it's a hundred twenty five dollar card. So you can you can make a. Make a little bit of profit on these cards. Uh, again, it all depends. Uh, this was uh, the first of November. It's, it it comped out for 125. Get it back soon enough. This this is a on the edge of being a, a vintage card, so they kind of hold their grade a little bit better, or hold their value a little bit better. So uh, get that pick, get that uh, sent off as soon as possible. Get it back. Get it on eBay. As I was saying, as far as the shipping goes on a lot of these uh, cards, this is a, uh, a Cowboy, uh, this is a 19, uh, let's see, this is 1969, 68, I'm sorry, Tops, this is great only. It'll grade a six, about thirty-five dollars. But again, this is going into a uh, a team uh, sixty-eight team uh, cowboy team. So put that over here on this side. Herschel Walker. <coughs> again. A little off centered, so this will just go into uh, into the team. This, uh, this uh, actually will grade about a nine, is what I have it at. Just the only thing wrong with this is the uh, off centering. It's a uh, I think a fifty-seven. 43 the back uh, is nicely centered so it will uh it will definitely grade high again it's uh grading is is a uh an art not a science so what i may consider uh being a nine or ten may not come back as a nine or ten so but i've uh over the years i've 
been pretty uh, accurate on, on the grades. About 90%, 85 to 90% of what I've, I think it'd be an 8 or 9, it would come back 8 or 9 or possibly a 10. So, but anyways, that's uh, that nice one. I'll get a Willie Galt, 86 tops. This one, uh, nicely centered. This one will grade an eight, about eighteen dollars. So this will uh, this will go in probably uh, either resell on eBay. I was hoping that would come back. I think there's a little bit of a chipping on the edge where it was cut. It's like I said, it's hard to see in the camera, hard to picture pick it up in a picture. Uh, a little bit of scratching on the surface, so it won't make a ten. Or possibly even a nine, so I'm thinking it'll, it'll grade just an eight. So that would be probably put back on eBay for resale. Lawrence Taylor again, Lawrence Taylor. That's a eight, eight point five, about twelve dollar card picked up for a couple of bucks. So. Jack Youngblood. I'm trying to get this uh, lined up here. Uh, this should grade a 10. Again, it's uh, about $56 card as a 10. So. That will definitely go in to be graded. And picked up two cards here. Again, this is the Cowboys. Two Cowboys. Ralph Neely. Neely. And John Nyland. You can see with Nyland, it's, uh, it's really bad. Again, a couple bucks. Picked them up. It'll go into the uh, PC as a team in in a team set. Both of these will. Uh, you can tell that the corners corners look nice in the camera, but once you get them in hand, you can see that they're kind of soft, chipping. So definitely uh, not worth grading uh, as far as a, a resale purpose. I will grade. Probably have them graded. Uh, just put them in the PC. We may we're already 28 minutes into this video, and so we may have to make this two videos or uh, three videos. Again, seller decided he wanted to get rid of these common cards. Those are nicely centered, though, actually. So, but Nolan Ryan, nicely centered. Apologize for that. Eighty-six Nolan Ryan. I believe it's greater. An eight. Won't make a nine. So this is just going into the PC also. So again, we <laughs> I did purchase a lot of Nolan Ryan. Another Nolan Ryan. This one here will grade a 10. It's nicely center front and back. Well, a little bit off on the back. But I still think it's uh, enough to make a 10. Unless I back so I can piece these. Ah. This one will make a 10. This one will make an 8. I apologize for that. This one will make a 10. So. 
a nine. This one will make a nine for $128. This one will make an eight. I'll get it straight eventually. Fred Cone. That was Cowboys, 1960. Again, that's just to uh, replace. Whenever I picked these, whenever I started uh, doing these team sets, that was probably in 68, 69. So, as a 19 year old kid trying to keep these immaculate, we did not. Uh, so, they was handled quite a bit, pulled them out, traded them, uh, showed them off. So it's, uh, the corners got pretty much r r uh, rounded off. Edges got, you know, chipped. So just something to upgrade. Like I said, eventually, even though this one won't grade more than a, probably a three, maybe a four. I believe that's what I have it at. Uh, I was still graded for the PC just to have a, a graded set for that. And I can't buy <clears throat> just all raw cards. I, I ran across this. It was one, uh, one that I wanted. I had a silver. didn't have a base. But I pulled, found a Luca. PSA 10. So one of the nicer cards that I, that I ran across. It's paid a lot, a little bit. A little more than what I wanted to, but still, it's just over 200 for this card, so it's already gone up in value. I think the the value on this, I believe, is uh, just over 300. So that was a nice little pickup. I was able to snag that on a on a auction. <clears throat> so that is uh, definitely a, a nice card that I had to pick up. So. That kind of blew my budget, but again, I had to uh, pick it up. Another Luca. Two thousand eighteen. I can find the Luca card for uh, a decent. A decent price. Uh, I generally do pick them up. Same as the Nolans, King Griffey's, Emmett's, uh, Bird. So, but again, a nice, nice little pick up there. Another Nolan. <clears throat> it's number thirty-two. This one here will uh, grade an eight. Value is about $33 uh, at an eight. So, a little off centered on the back. Corners are uh, not crisp, not sharp. They show a little bit of wear, but not much. So, I think that's what downgrades it to a uh, eight. And if I remember how I opened this one, I will get this card out. Well, uh, there we go. And again, another uh, 72 Rangers. Nice card to go to the PC. Uh, again, another card on the PC. Dolly Nix and Ray Noki Noli. Again, two of the uh, Krauser. <laughs> there we go. I can't even read my own writing sometimes. But they will uh, definitely go on the on the team. Uh, back in the uh, '60s, if you ever uh, try to put together a team set, you know, like in the I don't know, even the 90s, 90s through the 2000s. Uh, you only had probably maybe four, five players uh, put in, in a set <clears throat> from a certain, from any team. Uh, but back in the 60s, they put just about everybody. This is a large, 
set, I believe, of uh, of twenty. Yeah, twenty players. So fortunately, they're uh, they're not a a lot of more high value, but definitely uh, something that is nice to have if you're into that. And again, another one. Down Hendrick, Hendrick, another nice little cowboy. It looked like someone scratched the back of that one. Came through with the uh, thirty-seven. This is Dwight Goodwin. This is uh, grade, I believe, a seven. And again, <clears throat> it looks nice from the camera view, but the uh, corners are chipping, edges are a little, have a little bit of chipping on it, a little hard to see. The uh, centering is real nice on this card, it's one of the reasons why I got it. But again, it will only grade out to a, uh, a 7, which is about a $15 card, uh, at a 7, so picked up for uh, about five bucks so again nice little pickup but not uh, not good enough for resale uh, to flip a uh, Ricky Henderson mini a couple of them and a Ron good day Pick those up uh, just because it was a, a novelty. Uh, got a nice little collection of minis, and you can't really pass up a Ricky Henderson. So, so that uh, was a nineteen eighty-eight. Both of them were grade. About a nine, so nine's going for I believe for right at about uh, thirty-five dollars. So those are two nice, uh, two nice cards to pick up. And we may have to go four. Another seventy-two Ranger, Vic Billings. Sammy Sosa. That's top's finest. It will grade out a 9.5, I believe, for about $25. There's a little, little, there's one little, one slight mark on that coating. Uh, why would we say a 9.5? So. And then again, somebody else that uh, it's the Larry Walker upper deck, and then of course they send me a Julio Franco. Nice little card free, kind of dinged up on the on the corners, but we might be able to do something with that. But this is the card we went for. Now being a uh, a die cut again you know how hard die cuts are this Larry Walker is nice this will uh, grade out to be an eight for about fifteen dollars now the next uh, Larry Walker is a little bit better this is a top finest Grades out to a 9.5 for about $750. And I did pick up this card for, I think, about 12 bucks. 
So that's a nice little profit if it does grade out to a, a 10. Again, the grading is, uh, is an art form. So it all depends on how they interpret uh, the company policies on uh, how they grade. So it's uh, not quite a 10. It could go a 10. I'm saying a 9.5. Might uh, might even go a nine, so that again. Already in the forty minutes on on here. Another Sammy Sosa. This one here will grade a ten. Again, only about fifteen bucks. But apologize for that. Trying to move this monitor up so I can Roger Clements. This uh will grade an eight. So a nice little PC, the Rocket. I definitely uh, liked him as he played. Uh, Roy Foster, another 72 Ranger. And again, the Rangers uh, sets were also quite large. Uh, let's see here, this is gonna be Winford Boyd. Mavericks this card here <clears throat> excuse me this card here uh, will grade out uh, I believe will grade a 10 it's a uh, nicely centered it's about a hundred and fifty dollar hundred and fifty seven dollar card if it does grade a 10 so that uh, could be a for resale, it all depends on how it comes back. If not, it, it'll go into my PC. Then another Ranger, Hal King. That's uh, that'll grade about an eight, I believe. And again, taping the uh, the cards. To uh, Mike Bratz, Maverick. This uh, this will grade out to about an eight. Also, unfortunately, not quite as uh, valuable as the as the previous card. This will be only about a fifteen dollar card. So, not for that. And we're already at 43 minutes, and I apologize I didn't go a little bit quicker. But uh, hopefully you uh, get the gist of uh, of what, I was, what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm trying to upgrade uh, some of my PC uh, collection. Uh, buying some cards, uh, hopefully they grade out to a 9 or a 10. Do a little resale. 96 cards is what I have on here that's... Uh, that should re that should grade either nine or ten. Uh, the whole purchase uh, for all the two hundred and nine cars that I picked up is right at nine hundred dollars uh, value that I paid for them. If uh, if they grade out the way that I think they would grade that on a pre grade, I I looked at them, I graded them, I uh, then I passed them on to. Uh, some uh, people that has graded before and had them look at it, they uh, kind of agree with me. There's some that fluctuated one way or another, either high or low. So, but, you know, the, the senses are that these cards should grade uh, the nines or tens that uh, I was thinking they would. So, we'll uh, continue this on uh, part two 
of our mail day. And I apologize for uh, this thing just kind of got out of hand pretty quick. Uh, found a lot of cards that uh, I needed, I wanted, so I went ahead and uh, uh, just went ahead and purchased them. Didn't wanted to do them a little bit quicker than that, but it just like I did. It like I said, it just kind of snowballed on me. And I apologize for that. We'll put this in a four part. We'll do each stack. Uh, there's four stacks, and we'll just do a four part if we have to. Try to keep them as low. Please feel free to fast forward. It uh, it will not bother me one bit. Uh, hopefully you see some cards in there that you, uh, that you liked. Uh, maybe you can, uh, find some on eBay that is just as good. Purchase them, grade them, and, uh, maybe make a little profit off of them. So, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, if you liked the video, please give a thumbs up. Leave a comment what you liked about it. And, uh, we will get the, uh, part two out as fast as we can hopefully i can get through maybe two stacks next time we will i'll uh see if i can't uh hurry it along a little bit better so until next time i hope everybody stays safe and healthy and we will see you then